Hi, welcome to Local Flavor. I'm Deborah Anderson and we've moved the show. We're in Phillipsburg again, this time at 3rd Street Bakery on 3rd Street in Phillipsburg. And the owner, Linda Martin, is here. She has a lot of good things. We have decided on a few to show, starting with Telus. We're gonna do some long johns and some pretzels. Donuts. And <laughs> we're also gonna do our honkers because that's kind of one of our fun things. And we'll start with the Long Johns. We'll just get them started. Um, I'm just going to put them on a donut screen, which is right here. And normally we put, we do several of these every day. Now, do you buy this dough frozen from the store? What did we I do buy to get this, here? I buy this, I buy this uh, frozen, yes. We use all frozen dough for our donuts early in the morning. Two reasons, because it's very consistent, it's very good. And we also don't have to get up quite as early. And we okay. start here about every day. My donut prayer comes in at 2.30 every, every day. Uh, I don't come in quite as early as she does, but uh, yeah. Do I need to stack another rack of them? Um, no, we're gonna do the rest of them. Hold on. We're gonna do, we're gonna get the honkers on the screen real quick. And what we do is we take two, two donuts that are a little bit bigger than our regular donuts and we put them together, we try to squeeze all the edges. And then what I do is I kind of smash them out a little bit too. So they... So it's a double donut and bigger. And yes. you, you have to cut the shapes though, or no? Uh, they no, cut? they come like this. Oh my goodness. These I actually get from a donut supplier out of Minnesota. Uh -huh. I like the way they work better, but most of my stuff we get local, you know, from a local restaurant supplier because we go through more than I can, I want to put away. Well, okay. I wondered, because you go through a lot of them. We, for the, for the pretzels, we take a long john and we cut it in half and we move it over and then we just roll it out. I'll get some ready for you. And we flip it around like a pretzel. Um, this is, you roll it with your hands. Yes. One of the things that takes a lot of time in the morning when we're doing several screens. Well, that's the one I usually pick, so thank you. For Me, that too. Extra time. Me too. Me <laughs> too. I, I kind of like them. Doyle loves the just plain, plain, plain old donut. I'm going to try twisting one. Yes, you do. I. Found that they have to be fairly long, Can otherwise I? they are mini pretzels. Oh, <laughs> so keep going. Oh, do one more because I keep forgetting to look how you're tying them up. But they, oh, oh, is, is it? Am I making it harder than it is? No, no. Well, actually, I've found that most things, after a while, I make it look a lot easier than it actually is. <laughs> okay, I just Cross. bring it down at the bottom. And, and then twist it once and bring it back up and put it kind of underneath. Underneath. Like. And yeah, I made no. a mini. Look at mine. It's, it's, it's very cute. But what I do, I'll, I'll show you the <laughs> okay, next do one. do it again. <laughs> Wait, I'm getting one more. Um. Oh, mine does not look like the others. It's okay. Mine, my mine didn't look normal for a while. <laughs> um, see, when I twist it, I just stick it right there on the top side. And then when I flip it over, it comes out. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Just wait. You're this one's going to be harder. the best one. Yeah. <laughs> That's my special gift. <laughs> Making life a lot harder than it needs to be. I work sometimes very hard on trying to make things. I work really hard making things easier. Oh. Sometimes when it would take when you less time, save just time to do it. <laughs> oh, I got it two is. minis. There we. That's okay. They'll, Don't buy these race. two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to put them all in the proofer. What do you call them? A proofer? Proofer. Yes. It. It makes them raise a lot faster. Okay. 
So she has a giant feed bag full of mix. What <laughs> color is it? It's white. White cake mix, cake donut mix. I guess you cannot use a regular cake mix. It looks just like this. Okay. I, <laughs> and normally we do 10 pounds. Oh um, my goodness. At a time. We're only gonna do five. Okay. So do, have you memorized all these since you do them every day? Yep. <laughs> I think what's gonna happen is we're making a few, you know, it's already, donut time is almost over. I checked the case, they're almost gone. Some people at lunchtime are gonna say, be surprised you have some cake donuts still available. Yeah, and, and <laughs> that it smells like donuts in here because it will start smelling like donuts <laughs> in here. <laughs> she is going to get us some water. She has some beautiful, really old equipment. She bought this place in 1995, and it had been a bakery for a long time before that. And it actually was also the same bakery in another location before that. So, but we've been here at this location with Linda for about 22 years. So I love that the equipment is still, a lot of it's still the original equipment. I love these pictures. So I did five pounds of mix, and it's going to be two and, a, two and a quarter pounds of water. Oh, she's doing the water by pounds. Two and a quarter pounds of water. Oh, so you have to add it, too. Yeah, and have to watch it pretty careful. <laughs> <laughs> and I always think it kind of helps if I mix it a little bit for the bottom. Oh, before you put it on the machine. Yeah. Well, it probably keeps it from poofing out dust, too. Yeah. Um. Look at this giant, giant equipment. Oh, this is a bowl lift. Yes. Right? Yes. And you can go ahead and lift it. Oh, my Other goodness. Way. Yeah. Okay, it wasn't as hard if you go the right way. Now, how long does this have to go? It has to go three minutes. Um, it's supposed to go one minute on low and two minutes on medium, but we figured out that it, you can just put it on three minutes and it's the same. Okay. If you haven't been to Third Street Bakery for donuts, this is our absolute favorite of all donuts anywhere. Krispy Kreme, Hertz, these are the best ones. Well, she gets this to mix. Let's go ahead and take a short break, and when we come back, we'll be ready to start making the cake donuts. Your house is more than just a house. It's a home for your family to grow. It's a place where you feel the most comfortable and can be yourself. Shop at Paul's Furniture Company in Selden so your family can select the perfect pieces for all the rooms in your house. With over 17,000 square feet of selection, they are sure to have the styles that will please everyone, even the kids. Visit Paul's Furniture Company in Selden, where they'll help you feel at home. Visit us online at paulsfurnitureco.com. With seven agents in three locations, Hammond Land and Auction Incorporated can meet your every need when it comes to your next sale. Visit them at hammondauction.com and you'll find all their upcoming sales including farms, ranches, as well as farm equipment and even real estate listings, both residential and commercial. They've been serving Western Kansas since 1983, and with offices in Stockton, Russell, and Hayes, they're always nearby to assist you. Hammett Land and Auction Incorporated. Contact them today. Okay, we let the batter mix for the full time, and now we have put it inside a little dolloper, or what, what was the word you used? It's a cake donut hopper. Cake donut hopper, and it's going to dollop the batter into the oil. And so she is working that right now, but we mixed the dough inside something else, and then she had to scrape it into that. She brought it over to the fryer and scraped it in. And I wish you could see them come out. Look at the little things. Oh, they went to the bottom, and then they're coming up. Does that mean they're already done? No. They're not done yet. They will have to cook on one side. We have to turn them twice, all, all the donuts that we turn. Uh-huh. 
and you're, she's using some little wooden sticks to turn them. But this, like, put, it was almost in the oil, wasn't it? Yes. It was right down there, and it pushed them to the bottom, and then they floated back up. It's supposed to be about an inch above, but the first one, the weight takes it down a little farther. When it starts getting these cracks in it, that's usually a sign that it's, it's uh, time to turn. Yep, they look like donuts at the store. This is the cake donuts. She looked for a little crack, and then she's using two sticks to turn them over. You know, uh, when you see it at Krispy Kreme, if you go to their factory, that machine does it. You mm -hmm. have to do this by hand. Yeah, I but, said I have a like machine the control that does over. it, but I like it. You I like, like to do this. You like the control over when they go? Yeah. And I heard the machine had a lot of fuse problems. Uh -oh. I didn't want to have a bunch of donuts in there. Like, yeah. Whoops. I no. How do they look? Oh, you just have turned one more. Yeah, I just turned one to see if it was what it looked like on the bottom. Oh, I was wondering how we were going to get them out. There is a tray that was underneath them, and she yep. lifted it out. Yep, a donut screen. Awesome. This is my favorite donut warm. Oh, probably so, yeah. Roll it in some sugar, and they're really, really good. We'll try that in a bit. Okay. Now you let them sit there for a little while. Was that yeah. so that you could so let the, the grease, grease drips off? Okay. Normally, we put that whole thing on the rack and let them cool that way. Uh huh. But we're not gonna. We're not doing that many, so. So I bet we're going to get a little lesson in multitasking here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here most of the morning and it's amazing how many things are going on simultaneously. So here goes the hopper again. And they are under. You can't see them yet until they surface. Now you're, she is scraping that now and then. To make sure she gets all the batter. Which, that's how I am. I like to use a spatula and scrape everything out. So let me ask you this. With these that you're cooking now, are you going to, we're going to dump them all at once into the frosting or the glaze? Um, I will glaze some of the next ones. Uh -huh. But normally we frost and put sprinkles and do oh, different yeah. things with them. We so don't. We, we don't glaze these. No, I glaze. Uh, we make blueberry ones too, which we just add gumbets to it. You add what? Blueberry gumbets. Gumbets. I have never heard that word. Is it a flavoring capsule? It, they're flavored and they're just little little balls of chocolate blueberry. A little smaller than a regular blueberry. Like the goal in donuts is to try to get both sides about the same. Uh -huh. So one side's not really dark and the other side's really light. I guess I knew that cake donuts were fried, but I still thought, part of me thought they might be baked. Probably because of those little donut hole makers, those machines. So just a few, you're just going to do that many yep. that are glazed. Because it's the time of day when we're not going to sell them. <laughs> Does that keep them fresher a little longer if they're glazed? Uh, well, I just didn't want to do too many of them. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it again. I just want to see how did she do it. 
take a break and then we'll get busy with the raised donuts. Norton County Hospital would like to welcome Dr. Todd Pankratz, an OBGYN who is now accepting patients. This means women can receive local specialized care for high-risk pregnancies, infertility, medical weight loss, and various surgeries. With Dr. Pankratz and on-staff physicians, the hospital hopes to serve as a premier facility for women's health care, and this care extends to the entire family as more than 60 babies are welcomed here each year. The Norton County Hospital, dedicated to caring, commitment, and community. Western Auction and Real Estate LLC is ready to travel to you. Their team includes auctioneers and real estate specialists that will exceed your expectations. They offer experience in agriculture real estate, commercial and residential sales, and farm equipment auctions. Plus, they conveniently travel to your location. And it doesn't stop there. Visit westernauctionandrealestate.com today to shop their online equipment auctions too. For professionalism from concept to completion, it's Western Auction and Real Estate. Uh, the hunkers have already proofed. She said that they proof the fastest, and so the two hunker donuts that we made are ready to go into the fryer. Oh, she already did it. I didn't get and, <laughs> and these take a little while to fry. So now, were they on the net? The, mm -hmm. it's right. the screen, and you just dumped it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we can lift them back up, and I hope we can get a tight shot of these because they have the little. You know, she put them on that rack, and so they have the kind of crisscross on the bottom of them, just like you see. That didn't take too long. So we are getting the pretzel-shaped donuts out of the proofer, oh, wow. and we'll put those into the fryer next. In they go. Now these, when you drop them in, they usually eat very, very and the reason so you're going right away yeah and the reason is because normally we do 15 uh -huh. and by the time we do the 15 you can see how much darker that one is uh-huh so this is why you tip these twice you got to check the sides both sides well them. you you want them even uh -huh. so you have to do them twice I mean and also you don't want that crisscross side on the top Oh, you are taking care to make sure that the seam is on the bottom mm -hmm. so that when you glaze them, they'll look right. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to touch them too much when they're this hot. When they're uh, for your fingers or for the donut? For your fingers. <laughs> okay, I'm going to back up just a little. Oh, my goodness, that was quite a little skill move. Oh, I want to, oh. I'm going to put these over here, but I need to glaze these. So these need to be glazed while they're pretty warm? You want to glaze them within the first minute. You know, you shouldn't let them sit longer than 60 seconds. I want to get close and watch the, the frosting. Yeah, the glazer fascinates everybody. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a sheet. Okay, and then we let those drip until as much as we can. And you are not glazing the honkers. No, we frost them, and and we frost them with maple and chocolate uh -huh. usually. Both on the same one. Uh, no, or one just or the other. one or the other. And occasionally, like Halloween, I do white so I can do the eyeball. Oh. Now these we we dunk. We don't turn. And so Long John, she is not turning. She just, and they're sunk just like the cake donuts did. Are they going to come up? They're going to, no, because I put a screen on top of them. Oh, she's holding them under with a screen. Okay. I missed that. I wondered why that screen was up there. Yep, that's why. Just for Long John's. Now why? Why are those different? Um, well, this kind of pushes out the air pockets. Uh huh. Okay. And and because of we frost every long john, we mm -hmm. don't glaze any long johns. So we do them this way, and and they have a. You want them a little harder because you're going to frost them. Awesome. So so if you tried to frost something like, uh, well, don't have anything to show you, but you don't want you don't want it dipped down in. 
because then you have a lot of frosting. So. so how did you know when they were done? Just a feeling because you've done it so many times? Or? Pretty much. Okay. Uh, you kind of have an internal timer that kicks in, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, so will the next step be frosting these? Yes. We should take a short break so we can get to the frosting area, and when we come back, we'll be making them look pretty and sweet. Make moving and storing your home or business easy with Storage Solutions of Hayes and Victoria. With two facilities, they can store anything from antiques to automobiles and everything in between. Interior units for items needing special care. Drive-up units of all sizes, perfect for home or business. And outside storage for trucks, boats, and RVs. As an authorized U-Haul dealer, they have everything for your next move, across town or across the country. Storage Solutions of Hayes and Victoria. Making moving and storing easy. Here in the Heartland, we make things homemade with precision and care. Robin Insurance is no different. Their family creates tailored plans to keep your family safe. They are a family-owned and operated agency that also offers commercial, farm, and crop insurance. With quick, fair claims, your matter will be held professionally and with excellent customer service. Robin Insurance, the corner post of insurance since 1936. See their ad in the next tech directory. Welcome back. Yeah. What do we got to do now? Well, I'm going to frost some of these. And we don't have very much here, so so it won't take too long. This, and I'm going to do a honker, and I'm going to do one maple. Oh. When you say frost, you just mean dip. Yep. And this flavor is maple. This is maple. Now, you put it in the microwave to get it warm. Is it easier to dip? Yes. Uh, it, it and it stays on them. It dries kind of hard. Okay. Afterwards, at least, not hard, hard, but it, it. Yeah, I've had it one. Yes. I know what you're saying. So all you do is you. It gets a little dip, crust on it. And then you slide that off, like. And I'll let, I'll let you frost some. Oh, I don't want to break them with my fingers. I did not know they were handled. There's never f any fingerprints in them. Did Most I do it? Most of the time. <laughs> now these sometimes, huh? Yeah. Okay, I did white next. We replace everything every day. Uh -huh. You know, put in a little bit more. Oh, okay, so you use this for today and then tomorrow you get a new we'll one. We'll add more. Now and you don't even have to keep this in the fridge then. Hmm? Nope. Oh. I just wanted to do one. I hope you were oh, going to invite fine. me to do some. What are yeah. these that I'm putting on? Those are Jolly Rancher bits. Oh, yum. They're like oh, one of my favorites. Put them back in. People either like them or they don't. So That barely fits. That is a honker. And, uh, and then I'm going to also do these pretzels real quick, too. Oh, yeah. This is a special technique because they're a little bit striped. My so granddaughter is actually the best pretzel froster that I have ever had. Does she get a nice thin little strip? She does it so perfect. It makes me want to eat one every time. <laughs> I uh, Those have another flavor that goes on them. Yum. You, uh, <laughs> okay, see. now this topping is? This is peanut butter. Peanut this butter. Part, this is what our pretzels are so special. They have chocolate and peanut butter. and. I think that's why they're my favorite, because I love peanut butter. And then we just go the other way. Sometimes it's a very, very thin stripe, and sometimes it's, well, that's when you... I do it almost every day, but there's one day a week my donut fryer has off and I fry, and so somebody else frosts. Or if I have a, if I have a day off. <laughs> then they do. That's kind of rare. If you want to do those last two with no sprinkles and peanut butter, they're they're like my second favorite donut. Oh, that would be good. I don't think I've ever had a cake donut with peanut butter frosting. They're good. Cake milk. And we've already done them all. This yep. didn't take very long at all. Uh oh. 
I don't think that looked very good. This one tastes kind of like Fruit Loops to me. Anyway, I loved making these with you. Thank you for doing it. Sure. And we'll have another episode to do too. And in the meanwhile, join us next time on Local Flavor. Thanks, Linda. Thank you.